Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So this is the next video in the series about serialization in Java. We have covered almost all the topics so far. Last topic is pending that is serial version UID. What is the significance of this and what role it plays in serialization and deserialization? We will see it theoretically. What is this all about? Then we will jump into the demo part. Okay. So what is serial version UID? It checks the authenticity of the class during deserialization. De now, what the hell is this authenticity? We, were, we are doing serialization, deserialization properly uh, from the video, uh, last videos you are seeing, right? So it is happening properly. Now, what is this authenticity part? Now, here comes. You had the object, right? You serialized it, you byte converted it into and stored it, right? And then you again converted it into the object right so it was the object and it was the object and it this object was associated with a single class right so you created object out of it and when you are recreating the object out of that it is again taking reference from this class from where you have created the object and you know all of this is being done by the JVM itself so how JVM knows that this object belongs to which class so how JVM does know so when it is serializing the information it is storing a lot of metadata right so the the file that is created when you open it you see a lot of information in the byte form right so jvm understands that and those are the codes that understand that is understood by the jvm and class information is also there so when you serialized stored it that is okay not an issue but before and serialization you stored it in a file and deserialization can happen later uh, time that that can be a time gap right and during that time gap it is possible that this emp class employee class some attributes are added and some attributes are removed so it is changed now it is not the same class that the for which object was created and is stored in the file now it is something different now jvm checks it automatically right and if it is different and if it is added or something bad happened with that class so it rejects the deserialization it throws an exception right so we will see what actual exception is that in the demo for now just understand that authenticity of the class is performed by the jvm using this serial version uid how it comes into picture when you are implementing the serializable, serializable interface it is adding the serial version uid in that class automatically right when you are it is being converted into dot class so you see serializable is marker interface and it signals the jvm to do something specific so this adding serial version uid is part of that this is about the theory let's jump into the demo part then it will make more sense so these are the programs that we are doing so this is the employee class that is right here and this is the serialize object class and this is the deserialize object right and serialize object is storing the information so it is already created so let me remove this so that we can see it properly do refactor not an issue so for now this is the serializable and this let's introduce the error what error it is uh, showing right so for now so just run this program so we see the information is stored right so we got this file right so if i open it there is a lot of information like this right see just close it it, in, it we cannot read this jvm will understand only jvm can understand this now coming to deserialize object part we are deserializing it in this program but before deserializing let's change the class that is there right so what do we what do i mean by the changing so add some attribute or remove some existing right so any change will work suppose i'm adding this field right so by just adding this field we are changing the this class so how jvm knows that so just uh, perform the deserialization part and see how it is behaving Oh, it threw an exception invalid class exception right so it is saying that this employee class local class incompatible stream class description serial version uid was this local class serial version uid this local class it means the current version of the class and 
this stream that was used to create the object and stored in the object this was the serial earlier was serial version id and this is the new serial version uid we just discussed right adding the serial version uid jvm is by default adding the serial version uid which you are serializing right and this is totally possible that when you are serialize the object and during deserialization in that time that class is being changed some new requirement is there you have added some attribute or removed some attribute so that is fine so we how we can overcome this so what jvm is doing adding the serial version uid by default right so we can add our own serial version uid in this class right so for now the just remove this and when we remove this it is going to work perfectly right we have seen uh, this in the previous video so now we will uh, add the serial version uid in our class so how you can do that when you are implementing the serializable interface and if you go to the class and using the intellij idea if you come here add serial version uid field it is going to add the serial version uid it is generating uh, this id is automatically generating a default serial version uid and it is uh, giving us that we can use if you are an intellij by default it doesn't show option you have to go to setting part and you have to see the search for the inspections right search for the inspection and come here and search for serial version uid so by default it is unchecked so check all the options and press okay and now you if you come here it will show you to add the default serial version uid if it is not there we have added that is why it is not shown right so when we added this and serial version uid we have hard coded this uh, this is added so when you serialize this class and before deserializing you add something that is not going to create any problem so let's see with the demo so we have added that version uid run this class okay not the deserialization part but the serialize object right because uh, serialization and deserialization both should be with the serial version uid right so we executed the incorrect class so it has written the data is written object state is written into the class into the file properly so go ahead and first change the class right so this was supposed to be done by us so designation we have added earlier it caused the problem right so it means aha it worked properly right so now we got it everything worked properly right so now if you see new field that you have added designation you go to the getter setter and try to find this value so obviously it will get the default value that it has right so because it doesn't uh, it is not set by the object that you created you stored so it is going to get the default value but that it is now with this serial version uid the class incompatible exception is not coming invalid class exception is not coming all right and this this is possible this is with the serializable class and even if it is true with the externalizable that you are using right so with this employee class you are using externalizable here also it is applicable if you are not using serial version uid it is going to throw an exception if the class state is changed between serialization and deserialization all right so, and coming to the employee so here we added the default one that was uh, being created by so it should not be right like this right so it is not necessary you can add your own, your own id if you add this one it is going to work perfectly and there are other tools also you can go, go ahead and search on the internet you will see different options to generate the serial version uid so if you are not using intellij id or any clips if you are using eclipse also there is also option to add this otherwise you can just go to internet and you see uh, the options to generate the serial version uid otherwise it is perfectly fine not an issue right so this is it about the serial version uid and we have reached the last video about the serialization right so in the next video we are going to revisit the question and answer that we discussed in the first video and we will see that how many questions we are able to answer now then we will discuss what next topic we are going to cover in the course hour right so guys if you like the content please don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends all other videos you can find right here this is the playlist and this is the playlist right
this is the github repository where you will find all the source code that we explained in the video right so you can also explore other topic also that i have uploaded on the channel so you can suggest me the new topic also uh, what i should cover in the next so i'll cover i'll try to cover that also right so guys i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye